20 years ago, started hearing about the fact that the drinking water reservoir was really a beautiful thing to look at, and the whole community revolves around it visually, but you couldn't walk around it safely. So there were several accidents before an effort was made to actually do a master plan. So when the request for proposals came out, we formed a team and we won and we came up with a solution in terms of um, a sidewalk all around the perimeter and the phasing of some parts of the property that could actually be accessible to the community. Silver Lake with this body of water that covers two and a half miles around. And now is really a place because people walk. There's a motion here. There's a neighborhood here. They run to all over. It's a very exciting place to be. So it's extremely special to have this and to be able to walk around now on a safe path is a very big accomplishment for the city and for the community and with great cooperation for the Department of Water and Power. The fence line used to be right there. This was off limits. Now it's limitless as people come here and enjoy, whether it's the sun, whether it's yoga, whether it's young people playing. Down the way, the dog park, it's very special. I've lived here about 18 years. I've always walked by the reservoir and it says, wow, how nice would it be to be able to gain access to that? Because there's no doubt the community wants this. You know, so I'm down here all the time and on the weekend, this place is just filled with so many different families. Oh, I think it's amazing. Um, as a mother of a young child, and I, as someone who knows a bunch of other young moms, we come here all the time. We don't have any yard at our house or in an apartment, so we come here and well, this is sort of like our backyard. Silver Lake is one of the most creative, diverse, active communities anywhere in this country. You know, Silver Lake has always been named after this lake, this reservoir. So it's always been the focal and geographical heart of the, the neighborhood. And yet, if you look at what was around it, we had neglected our heart. You know, all land use, whether it's a development or a new park, is a full contact sport in Los Angeles. We're a very good city at saying what we're against. Um, it's easy to tap into people's fear, but it's much more difficult to say what we're for and to build consensus. You know, this meadow has provided the triple bypass that the heart of our community needed. Yeah, pretty much my scope of Silver Lake was uh, the dog park and that way. And that's all that I really cared about. But now, like having this addition, it kind of bridged like aspects of Silver Lake together for me. And so being able to walk here and hang out, still having like a junction in that side of town too, it's like just a big, feels like a bigger community, I guess.